Today, it is my honor to nominate one of our nation's most brilliant and gifted legal minds to the Supreme Court. A vote for Judge Barrett is a vote to take away health care and its protections for over 130 million Americans. So how did we get to the high pressure, hotly debated Supreme Court drama of today? Prior to about 10 years ago, it was generally assumed that presidents would appoint Supreme Court justices when a vacancy arose and that the Senate, through its advise and consent process, would then have individual hearings on individual justices. And it's possible that they would uh, reject some extreme nominees, but in general, they would allow any uh, reasonable, highly qualified nominee to go forward. In 2010, this all changed. Many Republican senators began blocking federal court nominees, which led to their 2015 blocking of Supreme Court nominee Merrick Garland. And that was an appointment that occurred in January of an election year, and the Republican majority said, we are not going to even hold a hearing. We're not going to talk to him. We're not going to look at his possible credentials, his possible judicial philosophy, nothing. We're simply not going to move forward on any Obama appointee until the next election. Which brings us to the current situation of replacing the late Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg's seat on the court following her death in September. Now we have another appointment. We're obviously much closer to the election than we were then. And now the Republican Senate is taking the opposite position, which is that we need to fill this position as soon as possible and not wait uh, until the next election. 